Welcome back YouTube, this is Bing, the Techvenger, and I'm here with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about Google's most recent vision of their mobile computing platform, the Pixelbook. This unit is the base model with a i5 and eight gigs of RAM, along with 128 gigs of storage. With the recent Father's Day sale that priced the Pixelbook just under $1,000 Canadian, or 750 US, we thought it'd be worth to take another look to see how the most expensive Chromebook stacks up against the competition. So saddle up your horses to find out. <laughs> Before we dive in, there are a couple of misconceptions that I want to get out of the way. The first misconception is that Chromebooks don't do a whole lot, and this is actually no longer true. As of November 2017, newer Chromebooks and certain older models have had the capability to run Android applications, giving the operating system access to run anything from Microsoft productivity suites, games, and photo editing software, just to name a few. All of which gives Chrome OS quite a bit of versatility, whether you're running this online or offline. If you're more of a tech savvy individual, there's also the option of using Crouton to run a full blown installation of Linux, which allows your Chromebook to run even more applications. Number two, Chromebooks are useless without the internet. Going back to the first myth, the inclusion of Android apps actually allow you to perform many productivity tasks without an internet connection. The caveat to this is that there is currently no easy way to set up your entire Google Drive available offline. And while you can set individual files to be accessible, this wouldn't really cut it for users who wish to have their entire drive available 24 seven. Number three, installing the Chrome browser in Windows or Mac is the same as using a Chromebook. <laughs> this is absolutely false. The computing experience of a Chromebook is unparalleled, and this myth typically comes from those who have never actually used Chrome OS before. While yes, you can technically run a web-based application on any Windows or Mac computer, but that's completely missing the point. The lack of a traditional computing environment means that a typical user doesn't have to deal with long and tedious updates, which allows them to instantly use their Chromebooks at any time. Add to the fact that Chrome OS truly does not get any viruses means that you'll never have to spend time managing or cleaning your computer which really you can't say the same for Mac or Windows. Now that we have some of the myths and misconceptions out of the way, let's finally take a look at the Pixelbook. From the initial unboxing to booting it up for the first time, you can tell that Google has really taken a lot of time in creating a simple and clean user experience. Unpacking this two-in-one hybrid, one can immediately see that Google has pulled all the stops in the hardware department. Equipped with a bright and sharp 12.3 inch 2400 by 1600 pixel display, the Pixelbook is a result of years of refinement of the Pixel line. Weighing at 2.4 pounds, this fanless Chromebook is the ultimate travel companion. And while it only comes with two USB-C 3.1 ports, one can easily overlook this given how thin and light this is. Compared to the butterfly keyboards found in Apple's latest line of MacBooks, the Pixelbook's backlit keyboard is an absolute dream to type on. Offering just enough travel and 0.8 millimeters of depth, I only wish that every keyboard felt like this one. It's just that good. This is made even better with the fact that the Pixelbook also sports an equally high quality glass trackpad. And while Chrome OS, in my opinion, doesn't quite have the bar setting gestures of Mac OS, the feel of it is every bit as good as the MacBooks. While a large majority of the hardware is spectacular, the Pixelbook unfortunately falls short in the audio department. As with all thin and light laptops in the world, the speakers are located beneath the keyboard, which results in less than desirable sound. Fortunately, this is remedied by the fact that there is a 3.5 millimeter jack, allowing you to hook up speakers or your own headphones of choice. The last piece of hardware we're going to cover today is the Pixel Pen, Google's rival to Microsoft's Surface Pen and Apple's Pencil. Similar to Microsoft's offering, Google opted to go for a replaceable quad A battery design, which has its pros and cons, but with a price tag of $129 Canadian, it definitely seems a little bit underwhelming, which is also further compounded by the fact that the Pixel Pen does not have any magnets to attach itself to the laptop. Google, what the f 
And so there you have it. Google's latest offering in the laptop space is one of the very best in terms of hardware, even compared to the rivals of different manufacturers and operating system platforms. But the ultimate question that we set out to find when doing this review is who is this Chromebook for? With such a hefty price tag and with Chrome OS's history of being perceived as a watered down operating system, it's definitely not for everyone. If you're already a fan of Chrome OS and you're looking for the very best Chromebook that money can buy, this is it. Google has really hit the nail on the head with its stellar hardware and Chrome OS itself continues to improve day by day. But if you're a power user that has very specific application requirements, you might wanna look elsewhere. Well, that's it for today. And if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you never wanna miss another video, hit the subscribe button and check us out on Patreon in the link below. We post new tech reviews and videos weekly. Bang out. Thank you.